magbukas po tayo ng browser. And then, itype po natin edx.adobe.com. Ito po ang makikita natin sa screen natin. Then, click po natin yung professional learning. Okay, makikita po natin dito ang iba't ibang courses na ino-offer ni Adobe. Ipiliin po natin yung creativity for all. And then, click Enroll Now. Okay, makikita po natin ang sign-in prompt. Ang gagamitin po natin sa pag-sign-in ay yung DepEd email ID natin. Ayan, ako po kasi nakapag-open ako nito. Kaya, pwede na akong mag-sign-in gamit yung at deped.gov.ph. Pero kayo po, pagbagong bukas lang, magkikreate account muna po tayo. Again, ang gagamitin po ulit natin sa email address ay yung ating DepEd email address. Then, sasagutan lang po natin yung personal details na hinihingi. Type po natin ang ating name and surname. Then, create lang po tayo ng strong password. Then, ilagay po natin yung ating birth date. Then, sa country, piliin lang po natin ang Philippines. Itik yung box. And then, click create account. Ayan, nandito na po tayo ngayon sa page ng Creativity for All. Then, click Continue Learning. Mapapansin nyo po dito, mayroong oras na kailangan nating kumplituhin. Ayan, bago natin matapos yung course. Ayan, panonoorin po natin isa-isa ang bawat topic discussion hanggang sa matapos para ma-reach po natin yung required time na 3 hours. Hanggang sa makarating po tayo sa dulo sa assignment at project making. Mamaya ay didiscuss po natin kung paano natin yan actual na gagawin sa Adobe. Kaya simulan na po natin. Kiklik continue learning. Ito na po yung interface ng buong course. Magsisimula po tayo sa topic 1, intro and overview. Drag lang po natin para makita natin yung video na panonoorin natin. And then click play button. Panoorin lang po natin hanggang sa matapos ang presentation. So, after ng first topic, drag lang natin pababa. And then, click next. Ayan, kung mapapansin nyo po, nagkaroon na ng check yung topic 1 nyo. Ayan, ibig sabihin, proceed na tayo sa number 2. Same procedure, panonoorin lang ulit natin yung video hanggang sa matapos. And then, click next sa dulo.
Okay, pangatlong topic, how to develop students' creativity. Click play and watch until the end. Click next, pang-apat na po tayo, creative tools. Okay, mapapansin nyo po yung inyong watch time dyan sa ibaba. Unti-unti na rin pong nag step up. Hanggang sa ma-reach po natin yung required time ng course. Continue watching lang po from one topic to another. And then same procedure.
Ayan, nandito na po tayo sa number 11, assignment overview. Ito po yung mga gagawin natin. At susundan po natin yung mga steps. Ayan, palakihin lang po natin yung step 1. To complete the assignment and receive your status as an Adobe Creator Educator, please select and complete one of the following projects. Number 1, using Adobe Spark Post, you can create an original graphic which responds to either of the prompts above. Please submit your work in the assignment step next up as either a shareable Spark link or a downloaded PNG image. Or number two, by using Adobe Photoshop, you can create an original graphic which responds to either of the prompts above. Ayan, so part two po ng ating YouTube video, papakita ko po sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng graphic design using Adobe Spark Post na gagamitin po natin as output. Yun po yung assignment na ipapasa natin. Sa gagawin po nating project assignment sa Spark Post, pwede po kayong mamili kung alin ang gusto nyong i-share na idea. It's either, how will you support your students' creativity or what is your goal as a creative educator? Yan po yung gagawa natin ng post graphic design mamaya. Kaya ready nyo na po ang inyong sagot. Yan, and then in step 2, lakihan lang po natin. Okay, so step 2, please either share your Adobe Spark or project file in the assignment step as shown below. Ayan, pwede nyo na rin pong buksan yung mismong assignment tab para makita nyo po kung anong ilalagay natin doon. Ayan, so meron po tayong title and then description. Ayan, pwede nyo na po yung sagutan para mamaya i-upload na lang natin yung matatapos nating Spark Post Project sa Part 2. Babalikan nyo pa rin po yan mamaya kahit na mag-out kayo ngayon, basta mag-sign in lang po ulit kayo gamit yung inyong DepEd email ID and yung password na inilagay nyo kanina. Ayan, and last na po ito, step 3, after submitting your work, you will be able to view other educators' project and you'll also need to give constructive feedbacks. Ayan, mag-peer review po tayo mamaya. Ayan, tatlong co-creators po ang kailangan nating i-peer review mamaya para matapos na natin yung ating task. So, ayan, ready na po tayo para sa part 2, ang paggawa natin ng graphic design using Spark Post. Thank you for watching guys! Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for more updates! See you guys sa part 2!